What's going on everyone? I'm back here with another unboxing video. And in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Velo Freewave wireless shutter remote uh, for Nikon cameras. Uh, so I picked this up off of Amazon.com for about $36 with free shipping, which is actually considerably a good deal <coughs> uh, considering what you're getting. So basically, this is a very simple wireless uh, shutter release that essentially just lets you activate your camera's shutter. So yeah, um, now I do currently have a wired version for a, a shutter release cable. It has over 16 million uh, different channel codes. Basically, so you don't get any interruption from anyone else using a similar shutter release remote. And as it says here, you can shoot in single shot, continuous, or bulb mode. Uh, so you can do all three of those functions using this remote. So anyway, let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got in here. So firstly, we've got this little thing, which looks to be a little lanyard or something. Um, and then we have a cable. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get everything out here. And then deep down in there, we just have the instruction book, but I don't need to worry about that right now. Um, anyway, so here is the first component um, right here. And this is essentially the receiver uh, that you put on the top of your camera onto the hot shoe mount. Uh, and this is what triggers the camera to activate the shutter. Um, then this here is the actual remote itself. As you can see, it's actually really small. Here it is in the palm of my hand. You can easily carry it around, put it in your pocket, things like that. Um, it does have a retractable antenna, as you can see here, um, which is kind of interesting. This is kind of an old design uh, of an antenna system. You don't really see this nowadays on newer uh, versions of remotes and things. Uh, so this is definitely old school technology right here. Uh, that there is also a little LED light on the top, uh, letting you know that it's being used. Uh, then you have this switch down here that has the three different functions. So you can do the single slash bulb mode. You have a two second delay as well as continuous shooting. Uh, so you can choose that straight from the remote itself. And then this here is the actual cable that connects it to your camera. So like I said, this is the version that has the 10 pin connector. So this little cable right here would be what connects into the, uh, the receiver. And then this is that 10 pin connector I was talking about. Uh, that goes into the camera itself and then this like i said is just that little lanyard uh, but i'm not going to worry about opening that right now but anyway so to give a demonstration i'm going to bring in my um d810 here and so firstly what you need to do is make sure that the battery is installed that's one thing you need to do and you just pop off this little door like so and it does come pre-installed with a non-rechargeable battery. So this battery, once it runs out, you will have to go purchase a new one, unfortunately. Um, but anyway, so once you do that, you slide it right onto your hot shoe and then you twist the little locking mechanism to get it secured in place. And then that's basically it for that. And then you grab the cable, plug it into the front portion here. And then right here is where you would connect it into the camera. You can see the 10 pin connector right there. And you just slide it into place like so. So once you get it down in there, and then you just twist the little locking mechanism in here. And it secures it to the camera so it doesn't pop out. And that is basically all you have to do. Now you do have this wire kind of hanging off the camera. So you might want to just put that somewhere so you don't get it tangled up in anything. But anyway, so now to turn it on and activate it, you would hit the power button here. And hold it down for a couple seconds and on the front side you can see it, the little red LED indicator light turns on letting you know that it is ready to go and then from there you can then turn the camera on as well that's basically all you need to do so you can then choose this switch here from either the hold position or the ready position when it's in hold basically it will lock itself and it can't be used during the time it's in that position and then when you're wanting to use it you hit ready and then it's allowed to be used and then it does have a button on top of the actual receiver if you want to manually activate the shutter via the receiver itself which i'm not sure why you'd want to do that because the shutter release on the camera is right next to it so that's an interesting thing of why that's there so but it, you can see you can press it down and it activates the shutter so i'm not sure why they put that there because you really don't particularly need it um but anyway, to use the remote, you can extend the antenna all the way out. And then from here, you just you can press it. And you can see it, you can activate the camera. And for some reason, 
it wants to do double shot. So on the camera, you're going to want to do um, single shooting mode so it doesn't do that. And then you can see it doesn't sh take two shots in a row at that point. But yeah, that's basically, it's real simple. You can halfway press it down to focus, press it all the way to take the photo. So that's single and bulb mode. If you go to two second delay, you press the focus, press it, and then it goes into two second delay mode. And you can see there, it just waited two seconds and then activated the shutter after that two seconds, which is really cool. And then if you go to continuous, which is the, of course, continuous shooting mode, um, but that will only work if you set your camera into continuous high or continuous low mode as such. But anyway, uh, that's basically the gist on how to use this receiver on your camera. Uh, like I said, you can pick this up for various other uh, camera manufacturers as well. So it's not just a Nikon specific remote. Uh, you can get one for Sony cameras. You can get one for uh, Canon cameras um, and things of such. Anyway, that is basically it for this video. I um, hope it helped you guys out and kind of helped you in a buying decision uh, for a wireless shutter remote uh, for your camera. Um, so far, I can tell that this one's going to be working out pretty nicely for what I need to do. Um, but anyway, yeah. So I will provide a link in the description below if you guys are interested in picking this particular remote up. And yeah, with that all being said, hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below. It is really greatly appreciated and helps out the channel. Um, hit that thumbs up button as well. That is also much, much appreciated. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or need help in any way, uh, drop a comment below, and I'll try to help you guys the best as I can. So yes, with that all being said, once again, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.